Hi guys, doing fair here. And we are once again playing Slime Rancher, as I said in the previous video, the card up above, we'd be doing. I'm feeling a little bit better, I am way more coherent. Today, we're going to be talking about art, but before we do that, I want to make a couple of announcements. Or rather, a couple of thank yous. I want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed. I haven't seen this kind of channel growth ever. So, seeing this now is making me kind of ecstatic. Uh, I want to see this keep going. And going into that, I also want to thank everyone who viewed the Daja unboxing video. It's now my second, at least the last time I checked, it was my second most viewed video on this channel, rivaling next to my Cuddle Clones unboxing, which, at least with the view count for this one, that made sense to me because... I was appealing to the audience of potential Cuddle Clone buyers, not my regular intended audience of random furries. So, thank you so much for that. So, art. Art's a wonderful thing. Kind of like these rainbow chickens. Art can be beautiful and amazing, and I have no roosters. What the heck? Art can be wonderful and amazing. Even when you're roosterless. And some people really, really, really want art. Or fursuit parts, or whatever. That's still art. I'm talking about all kinds of art. And some people will do whatever they can to get their hands on art. One of these ways is through trading. Now, trading is exactly what it sounds like. You're trading art for art, usually. Uh, some people trade art for fursuit parts. Um, that can get a little dodgy because of equivalence issues. But we're mostly just going to be talking about trading today for of art for art. Now, what I'm about to say can apply to the trading of anything. But most of the issue that I see seems to be around art for art trades. So before we talk about trades, I should explain barter. Because barter is the foundation of trades. Barter is the foundation of money. If we didn't have barter at any point, we wouldn't have money now. And that's important to remember. It's important to remember just how significant trades are. And weren't there four of you before? Where'd the other one go? The exchange of money is just a specialized form of barter. So, for barter, you could say, Hey, I need a plumber. I'm going to offer this plumber uh, ten chickens. They all lay eggs, and they are valuable. The plumber can eat them, sell eggs, do whatever. But these chickens are equivalent to his labors. So, someone may offer chickens to a plumber for plumbing services. It is no different, this chicken plumbing exchange, it is no different than art exchanges. Just because it's art for art doesn't mean that the expectation goes away, and the expectation is the only thing that matters. 100% the only thing that matters. And you see this in the furry fandom, and it's kind of depressing, where people get the idea that because it's art, the services for art, the exchanges for art, we're gonna watch this for four minutes. Um, the trade becomes not important, or not a priority, or something that you can just not do. And it doesn't work that way. There are a few things that I want to let you guys know, or remind you guys about when it comes to trades. One. If you skip out on a trade, you very well could get a beware on you. I am aware that bewares nowadays are kind of petty a lot of the time. But I have, especially in the past few months, I've seen that petty label get thrown on trade bewares. Mostly for the reason of no money was exchanged, you're not technically out anything, so who cares? And that's the issue. It doesn't matter if money was exchanged or not. If there was an agreement for an exchange, 
you must fulfill your side of that exchange. If you cannot fulfill your side of the exchange, then you sh and the other side did fulfill their side, you should offer payment for their services. If you cannot afford to pay them for their services, that maybe that's why you did the trade in the first place, and man, those guys are eyeing those guys. You have a toy? Play with it. C come on. Let me in. Play with your toy. Anyway. <laughs> if you can't fulfill your side, pay them. If you can't pay them and that's why you decide on trade in the first place, eat the loss. Except that they are not going to give you what you asked for because they aren't going to get anything out of it. If they're not going to get anything out of it, why should you? Now, if you if you engage in a trade with someone and neither of you fulfill your side, I've been in a couple of trades like that. No hard feelings, just two people not doing what they expected to do. But that happens. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And neither side should be villainized for just not being able to fulfill a trade if both can't do it. The only time it really becomes a problem is if one person does their side and the other person does not do theirs and refuses to do theirs for some sort of stupid not defensible reason. I also want to remind you that if you're going to trade with someone, much like the plumber and the ten chickens, make sure that the trade is equal on both sides. You don't want to be doing more work just because the other person wants more out of you. But at the same time, you both want what is equivalent to each other. If you uh, engage in trades yourself and you want to make sure that you're protected from someone else just running away with what you created, blocking you on everything so that you can't, you know, ask for your side and get that compensation, put a watermark over it. If it's a digital item, if it's a physical item, that's art. I would say still put a watermark over it and refuse to mail it until your side, uh, until the side that you are receiving, um, until that side of the trade is also completed. Because some people won't complete trades unless they see evidence that it that it's either being worked on or that one side is completed already. And with the attitude of this fandom and trades, I don't blame that one bit. Now, if someone does just run off with a product and blocks you on all media sites, and you just can't get in touch with them, and they aren't willing to work with you, then you can absolutely consider making up aware on that person, and don't let anyone tell you that that beware is not legitimate. The only time that that argument can be applied is if something was actually 100% free and was offered as a gift. That's not exchange, that really has no protection, and someone can just decide not to do that at any point in time. They can just be like, eh, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. That's absolutely 100% legitimate. But if it was a trade for services and services or goods for goods, or goods for services, or chickens for plumbers. Doesn't matter. They really don't care what it is. It's an exchange. And that exchange needs to be carried out. I can't think of anything else. Um, if you guys have any sort of questions about trades or what could be an equivalent for a trade of X item, then leave a comment down in the comment section. I will help as best I can. Because even though I don't do trades very much, 
I certainly understand how they work. And you don't have to participate in a thing to understand the basis of that thing, which I find very useful and convenient, because educating yourself is important. I appreciate you guys watching, and once again, I really appreciate everyone who helped give this channel that bump recently. Hopefully we'll have more of those in the future, and we can actually see this channel grow, which would make me absolutely ecstatic. So yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye!